I've modified our program from yesterday a little bit to include a scanner. And uh, what I've basically set up here is a little, kind of like a little game. So uh, I've got a prompt to the user to enter in a password. Okay, then we're going to record their guess in a string variable named guess using the scanner method next line. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that the password is Apache, we're the Arcadia Apaches here. And it's just going to be six lowercase letters. Now, the catch is this. Uh, you can see right here, I've used something called the dot equals method. This is the proper way to compare strings. Okay, there's a lot of reasons for this. Part of it is that a string variable, okay, is, is not really a primitive variable. It's not part of the original Java language. It actually comes from its own class, and uh, therefore it doesn't really have the access to the equals, equals, not equals to operator that we'd like it to. Um, it can use those things, and you won't get a syntax error, uh, but it probably won't do what you want it to do. It won't actually compare the letters of one string to those of another string. Uh, so what I've set up here is a little thing with the dot equals method. And if I run my program right now as it stands, and let's say the first time I run it, I type in an incorrect password. Okay, it says, sorry, you failed. If I run it again and I put in the proper password, it says, nice, you guessed it. Okay, so using an if-else structure like we learned about, um, I'm able to make that determination using this dot equals method. Now, what if I wasn't you know, paying attention and I put here equals equals? Now, equals equals is great for comparing ints, doubles, booleans, other primitives, okay? Um, but it shouldn't be used to compare strings. It's really weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, although when it works, it's actually kind of an unintentional consequence of something else. And we'll, we'll talk about that on another day. The bottom line is you should really only be using the dot equals method. So if I run now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in the wrong password the first time. So I'm going to type in Arcadia. Okay, it's incorrect. It says, sorry, you failed. But watch this time when I actually type in the correct password, it still says I failed. Okay, so bottom line is when you're comparing strings, use the dot equals to method to compare strings. Okay, the authors of the string class put in instructions for how to compare two strings, and those instructions are contained in the dot equals method. Uh, just a little bit more on the syntax of this. Okay, I've got a few examples right here. And uh, what I have, uh, just some different print statements. You can see here, I've put a string literal on both sides of the equals method. The string on the left is what we call the reference. Okay, it refers the compiler where to go to find instructions. So when the compiler sees a string followed by a method, the string serves as the point of reference for where to find directions on how to operate this method. So it goes to the string class, it finds the equals method, and it goes to the set of instructions uh, followed there. Okay, uh, over here is what we call a parameter. To use this method from the string class, you are required to provide a string parameter. In this case, I provided the string literal cap. Okay. I also could have used uh, a variable. I could have put a string variable as my reference and a string variable as my parameter. Uh, I could mix a string variable with a string literal or vice versa. I could put the string literal on the left and the string variable as my parameter. All four of those are going to work. Uh, you might also notice there's no such thing as like a not equals operator from the string class. So if you want to do not equals, just put your logical complement operator, the exclamation point in front, and that should work fine. So I'm predicting we'll see true, false, true, false here. And if you go through the results, you'll see why. And we get, I'm sorry, false, true, false, true. That was funny. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm back to my password check. Okay. And that's still working too here. All right. That's because I forgot to change it back to dot equals. All right. So bottom line is when you're comparing strings, try to use the dot equals method, not the equals equals primitive operator.